Hey everyone, welcome back for some more Grand Theft Auto 5 and uh, today is a day to fight the law because law is not absolute. I mean, uh, that's what I want to say, but um, I can only do that in the game though. Anyways, uh, first first of all, going uh, before going into depth into this video, click the like button, subscribe button. And the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates on this channel. I can only see, say this sentence properly <laughs> without stuttering much. But today we are going to uh, like um, doing a police cosplay, I guess, and um, fight the law with the law, something like that. But enough with that. Um, the previous one was a pretty good one because um, we got to kick some ass. In the Mr. Richards mission, or the, the mission known as uh, Mr. Richards, and uh, today we are we we'll, actually we are up to no good, but uh, we have to. I think we have to help out Dave. Okay, that was a close one. That was a close one. Oh damn it! Oh, I'm scared about that one. Okay. So yeah, I was about to say that. Oh, we are here. Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cop. You're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work. You'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, Sue. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwin and brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll get you a wheel, homie. <laughs> I guess. Okay. So today we got get to steal some cars. Or <laughs> um, fulfill Michael's dream of being a cop. But dressing as one. So I'm pretty sure that we have to like uh, buy costumes for that. Or cop costumes at least. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but uh, let's see. I love that uh, how Michael and uh, Franklin were like dressed up as gentlemen. On the other hand, Trevor was, oh, you bastard moron. Can't you see? Okay, as I was saying, and the Trevor, who's actually a psychopath and looks like one. Uh, okay, just a moment. Yep, it's uh, the line. E okay, okay, we are on the right track right this time. So as I was saying, Trevor who dressed and um, behaved like a psychopath, which sound, I mean, which pretty much was um, pretty hilarious to be honest. So, uh, watching that scene like that. I'm not making any sense right uh, right now, am I? I don't know what the fuck am I doing. <laughs> I wonder what what kind of what kind of cars are they going to be, or whether we would be able to take them or not if we like to. I mean, if I like a car, I obviously would take it. <laughs> Okay, so you have the man, and uh, we are on our way. So I'll just shut up for the rest of the rest of the mission and uh, let you guys enjoy the first and first experience of this of this game. So yeah, enjoy. 
And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care, keep watching, and um, stay safe out there. Seven millimeters. What the fuck does hey, How seven? about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh.
Hey, we coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. How you doing, T? We gotta hang in there. They'll stop eventually. Am I gaining on them or is that my imagination? We're driving into Polito Bay. Traffic might slow them down. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Thanks at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. I'm on him. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! And you, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Shit! I screwed up! Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right. I'm way out in front, guys. I'm just biding my time. Hey, you should be in a slow lane, brother.
Hey, Frank. Yeah. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> Hey, look, Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. You don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I going to beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, because I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, come on, T, man, please. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. 